This fingerstyle part uses an unusual tuning and a capo at the first fret. Tune your sixth string down a tone and your fourth string down a semitone, then place a capo at the first fret. So low to high we have E flat, B flat, E flat, G, C and F. The finger style pattern is quite complex, so let's break it down into small chunks. First play these two notes, 6th string then 4th string. Next is a 6 note pattern, starting with 2nd finger on the 5th fret, followed by a hammer on to 6th fret. After the hammer on, re pick the fifth string with your thumb, then pluck the fourth string with your first finger. So far, we have this. Finish the pattern by picking the fifth string, then the third string. So here's the whole six note pattern. So, after playing the first two notes, play the sixth note pattern twice. Now, lift off your fingers and play two notes, fifth string, then fourth string. Play the whole thing twice like this. The next section is based around a C power chord played at the 3rd and 5th frets and also uses strings 2 and 3. Start by picking the 5th string on its own, then pick 5 then 4, then pick 5 then 2 and 3 together. Then pick 5 and 4 again. So far we have this. Next, hammer on to 3rd fret, then pick strings 5 and 4, then pick 5 and 3, and finally play 5th fret 6th string with your 3rd finger. Here's that part again. Here's the entire C chord part played slowly.
For the last chord, use fingers three and four to play the sixth fret on strings six and five. And we'll also be using strings four and three. Hold the chord shape and pick the sixth string, then strings five and four, then five and three, then five and four. Next, hammer on from 5th fret to 6th fret, then pick strings 5 and 4, 5 and 3, and finish on the 5th string. That should sound like this. Here's the entire A flat chord pattern. And here's the whole thing played slowly. Here it is up to speed.